Hey Bruce, what's going on here? So we have two uh, nurses from the health unit who uh, arrive and just vaccinated a whole bunch of uh, staff here at Science North for the uh, influenza virus. So we've been vaccinated and uh, Science North, we uh, support the vaccination effort and uh, we support the science behind it. So we just rolled up our sleeves and we got vaccinated and we're ready to go for this season. Hi, Justine. Um, I've had people tell me, uh, especially younger people that they don't feel as if it's important for them to have the vaccine, right? We, we hear in the media that you know, people that are very young or very old should be vaccinated, but young people, especially the ones that consider themselves never get sick, or if they do get sick, you know, it's not a big deal if they get sick, why should they be vaccinated for influenza? a good question. The thing about the influenza virus is that it has no bias. So it attacks everybody. So it attacks those that are under six months of age who we cannot give the vaccine to. And it attacks those that are healthy and it attacks those that are immunosuppressed as well. So everyone is considered vulnerable when you actually think about it. So when we talk about this, this concept of herd immunity in influenza season, if we can't reach that threshold, it's still important that the majority of the population that can get vaccinated, get vaccinated, because we still have the proportion of people in that population that can't get the flu vaccine. So collectively as a group, the higher the vaccine uptake for influenza, less transmission is seen, less forward transmission, so we can really um, stop the spread of the virus. And protect and protect others that cannot be protected, which includes those infants that are less than six months of age. Certain people in our community that have comorbid conditions or that are immunosuppressed or are going through immunosuppressive treatment, biologic agents, et cetera. So Carly, I get a question a lot from people. They ask me, can you get the flu from the flu vaccine? And some people are kind of hesitant taking the flu vaccine because they think they're gonna get sick after it. Can that actually happen? Well, Bruce, that's such a great question. And as a public health nurse, that's a question that we get on a daily basis almost. Um, so the answer is really simple. It's a no. Uh, no, the flu shot cannot make you sick. It is not a live virus. It is a dead virus. Um, so what you're getting in the vaccine um, isn't actual influenza. It's just like a synthetic version. Um, it's been denatured so much that it's impossible for it to make you sick. Um, now saying that, we know that flu vaccine takes 10 to 14 days to work. Uh, we also know that the incubation period for influenza is only one day. So if you're exposed to the flu during those 10 to 14 days and the vaccine's not working yet, uh, you could certainly get sick. Just a correlation, nothing to do with the vaccine. Um, you were going to get it anyways. Um, you know, so that's something that we often see. Well, the message we really want to send is we don't want people to be afraid. We want the flu shot works best the more people receive it. Um, like we talk about herd immunity, so we don't want anybody to be afraid. Don't worry, you're gonna get sick. Um, yeah, you'll have a sore arm maybe for a day or two, um, and that's just your body's way of working. Some people say they feel maybe a, a little bit unwell for a day or two. Um, that's your immune system working and your immune system building up the important antibodies that it needs. Um, so please don't be afraid to get vaccinated and we encourage um, everybody over the age of six months who's medically able to please get your flu shot. Thank you. So when you get the vaccine, you are protect, you are safe for some diseases and also you are protecting people who can't be vaccinated because of some health conditions. The name of these is herd uh, immunity. Well, just like Justine yes, had just sir. mentioned. Yes. And uh, so take vaccination is an individual act, but this act has a huge uh, impact on society. It's a social commitment. So it's really important that uh, people get vaccinated. And if anybody has any questions or hesitancy about vaccination, uh, please talk to your healthcare provider. They'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you may have. And really, it's time to get vaccinated. Don't wait, get vaccinated.